Hi there. In this blog, I am going to explain you the cache transform in SSIS. Consider a very simple scenario when we have a big data set which we would need to look up again and again throughout the ETL solution. Uh, how would you rate looking that data, loading it from the SQL Server or any other RDBMS onto the memory of uh, SSIS and then doing your lookup uh, and then proceeding. So what I mean is if you want to look up, consider a dimension table. If you are trying to look up a dimension table and, and again and again in two or three DFTs consecu consecutively, what you do is uh, you would load that data uh, and then do a lookup. Now, what I advise or, or what SSIS does with the help of cache transform is it loads the data and it keeps you it keeps the data ready for you uh, and for multiple lookups you can refer the data again and again without having uh, the trouble of loading the data uh, into the SSIS memory. So that is what cache transform is all about. Now how we can achieve it, what are the, the various ways of doing it uh, that we would learn in this tutorial. So let's start looking uh, what we have here is uh, I've created few tables the first is the dimension employee dim employee table which is a hypothetical table which hosts employees their skills and their cities and then I have created an employee key which is identity int type and then uh, employee id or employee number that you can see uh, then per se what you have here in this uh, third result set is a fact table. It is again a hypothetical fact table which stores uh, the fact ID which is of INT identity type and the employee keys or the um, uh, employee keys which is referring the dim employee tables employee key and then the salary. Uh, it is a, a fact. So so and, and in between what you see in the second result set is uh, a simple staging table and we can we can call it employee fact staging which uh, simply has or hosts the staging, staging data for employee ID and their respective salary. So that's all and what we are going to do is we want to load the staging data that is the data from the fact employee fact staging into the facts table uh, and if the salary has been updated like what you see in the current scenario you, what you see here is uh, there are two records already available and uh, in our fact actual facts table and that is for employee key 1 and 2 that is for employee id uh, 1002 and 1004 so for these the current salary is 500 and and, and maybe and 10 dollars but they should be updated because the staging table has the current values of 1000 each so the idea of uh, our etl would be to load the current value from the staging into the production so if there is any updates that has happened we should be going to we will have to update that and apart from that we have three other employees and their salary to be entered into our fact table so that is what we are going to do now to break it up let's look at the ssis package the first important part is to cache the data so what we do here is we would have to i mean to build the ssis package we would have to do lookups. The first lookup would be for updating and, and, and then we will also want to insert the data which is not already there. So uh, first of all I have a DFT. It, it uh, has simple OLEDB uh, source connection and it loads the employee key and the employee number from the DIM employee table. That's all it does. It's very simple. Next what we do is we uh, will learn caching the data. So we pull out a cache transform and then add it here so what it does is it uh, asks for let me just delete this or let me so I'm deleting this so let me pull out a cache transform and then it would ask for a cache connection manager so we already have a cache connection manager what this cache connection connection manager does is uh, it would ask for a file in case you are using a file cache so uh, and apart from that we can uh, if, if we don't check this box we are going to load the cache value or, or the data into the memory so let's uh, that is one option the other option is a file cache so uh, we go with the file cache and this is the location where uh, the file cache or your CAW file will be created for 
the source query that we have defined and since we have selected two columns apart from that you'll have the uh, in, in the columns you'll have their name and you have to select one of them as the indexes so so currently we uh, you know specify employee number as the index and remember the index I mean we could as well name it uh, name this as 2 but the reason I have put it as 0 and, and not use it as an index we would have to refer both of them so whatever columns that you put up as an index would need to be referred in the lookup so uh, we'll learn that we'll, uh, we'll learn that in due time so for now that is your can cache connection uh, m manager so in this you just select your cache connection manager which is pointing or saving your data into the CAW files and then you map it so as you can see you have the employee number which is an index so it, it, it has a zoom there so now that is so now your data has been saved into the cache file uh, now next we move on to updates so first we try to update those salaries which are not in sync for the existing employee keys or uh, uh, in the data value so we have these employee keys which uh, needs to be updated so we'll we'll take a look how we have achieved that so next look up what we do is we create a source to our staging table staging fact table and then so staging fact as you as we've seen it, it hosts the employee number and the salary and then we move on to a lookup we do a simple uh, lookup here you would be given an option this is a lookup transformation editor which is here and once you select this you would have to go with the cache connection manager I mean in, in other scenario you would do a OEDDB connection manager which would actually load the data from the database we don't want that because we have the file ready so we use the cache connection manager and we say uh, for no matching entries we ignore the failure so we use the cache connection connection manager here and then from the columns uh, we map our employee numbers and onto and then select the employee keys so what we are doing here is we are we are looking up for the employee number from here we are trying to look up for the employee numbers onto the table and, and then fetch uh, if you see here that's what we have done we have loaded the dim employee employees uh, employee key and employee number so these this is actually if you see this is the data that is present in our CAW file now from CAW file we are trying to look up for these fact staging with with this with respect to the fact staging and then we are trying to look up the employee number and fetch the employee keys that's all we have done and for the matching output what we do here is for all the records that have matched we are just trying to update this salary so if you see here we are updating the salary for the employee key so we are fetching the employee key and for the employee key we are just updating the salary that's all we have done uh, next we move on to inserts I mean I could have done the insert and the uh, update in the same uh, DFT but I have used to just to give you uh, how we can look up again and again to the file so in the insert again we are using the same facts staging and then we do a cache lookup in the same way and, and, and it's all the same but we are just doing one more lookup with the fact table so we have we are just trying to use uh, this is a OLEDB connection manager lookup so we are just trying to do a lookup with the fact table and then we are just trying to see we are just trying to redirect the rows to no match output uh, so all the records which are not matched which means is all the records which are not there these three records from the staging needs to be inserted into our uh, fact table so that's what we are doing doing here the second lookup means uh, we are just trying to look it up against the fact table uh, and then for all those records with not, which are not matched we are simply inserting them into the fact so that's all we are doing so now let's try to run this package and see so currently we do not have any CAW files created here uh, let's run this
so as you can see it is already run so it has been successful all the tasks now let's just try to take, take a look uh, on the results so if you see now so we can see that the three records have been uh, inserted and the other two and two records have been updated so that was just a, a quick introduction to a uh, cache trans transform and and as you can see there is a new dim emp caw file that has been created so this file actually hosts your uh, dim tables dim employee tables employee key and employee number so that's how your cache transformation works and and that is how you can actually uh, I mean, you can actually archive or you can, you can actually store your uh, data for I mean, and query data uh, for, for, you know, lookups time and again. I mean, if you're having multiple lookups across your ETL, you can save on your time, uh, on your processing time and also the resources with the help of this transform. Thank you, friends.